want to start our presentations today by giving you a brief update on the general network that I chair together with Hannah Pombo, who is the vice chair. So we had a lot of unfortunate situations over this last year as the entire Europe, and I would say the entire world has gone uh, suffering because of COVID in two unfortunate situations. The major for us was the cancellation of our insight and in-person meeting in Poland that we have prepared for March 11th last uh, this year, this spring, which basically meant that we could not do it because of COVID. So I personally want to apologize for those of you who are listening today and were preparing to come to Poland and couldn't make it because of this situation and has inquired some uh, personal expenses because of this problem. Unfortunately, COS has not been very receptive to allow us to reimburse people uh, just for two days before a measure for, uh, force measure was imposed by the European Commission. In any case, uh, thank you very much for being here and thank you very much for your attempt to, um, uh, to have been uh, coming to Poland. Since COVID hit us, all of us, we have had a slightly higher flexibility from cost, not to get reimbursements for those past events, but for the future events, which means that we can now use a slightly better the amount of um, money that we have within the uh, Nucleum Consortium, the International Nucleum Consortium, to reimburse things like the one that we are having today, which is virtual meetings, which by the way, cost, didn't allow to get reimbursed because cost is an association that like people to meet and to exchange ideas. But fortunately that has changed over the months. So we have now ability to use the money to do things like this. And we will encourage any of you who want to prepare some virtual meetings to talk to us, to talk to Jonas and myself and to other members of the MC to see where we can create um, more events online. That's one of the reasons why we created uh, Inc. Academy, and I encourage you to look very carefully at this, and I congratulate Vladimir and Sara for putting all of this together in a very short time. So this Inc. Academy is, is bringing together everything that we can do online, from individual seminars on specific topics to uh, tutorials or describing the things that has happened into the network in the last few months as we do today. Another good news is that we have been extended grant period number two. This is the period that we are right now, year two of the grant. We have been extended, all the cost actions have been extended, not only ours, by six months, which means that the grant period number two will be finishing in October, 2021. And that means that all the years and the rest of the grant periods gets pushed six months. So we get an additional six months. now. The amount of money that we can spend in these extra six months has not increased, but allows us to expand it much better. I'd like to thank uh, all the work, uh, working group leaders that are today with us and that will be speaking after me for preparing this meeting and beforehand, and many, many of the things that have happened over the past, past weeks to prepare this um, briefing for all of you today. And finally, and, and I don't have enough words to thank very much Jonas, uh, Krebs, who is our manager at the CRG, who keeps us on track and has to deal with many of the offline situations that we have happened to happen um, in this cost action and even more in during the COVID time. So thank you very much, Jonas, for your work. Now, I'm, <clears throat> I'm addressing the welcome and introduction, as I say, but I also am the leader of the working group one, which is network and strengthening. I'm gonna be talking in the next few minutes about this. Later on, Vladimir Tiev uh, will be uh, giving some communication updates, which uh, it's part of the first part, network and strengthening. So Vladimir goes before working group two, which is challenging the frontiers and experimental resolution. So thank you, Parnet, for being here with us today. Work, working group number three, developing big data analysis and applying 3D modeling tools by Daniel. Thank you, Daniel, for being here today. Working group number four is exploit the nucleum in health and agriculture. This is done by Akis. So again, thank you, Akis, for being with us. And finally, the working group number five, 
which is a nucleome inspired technology transfer. And Agat is also here with us to give us some briefing. So I'm gonna start with uh, the updates on working group number one. So the, the, the overall goal of our working group number one is to build growth and strengthen the ties of all the members in the uh, ink action and bring new members into the ink action so that we uh, complement the existing ones and try to cover as much as possible Europe as a continent, not only as a European community. We have had new countries and I'm gonna tell you uh, how we uh, are planning to have new countries. The latest two new countries are Lithuania and Azerbaijan that joined um, relatively recently. Then I'm gonna to talk to you about the shared resources that we are planning to have and also how we are gonna encourage people to share articles and to publish articles together. This is one of the major aspects that we can um, reinforce during the COVID period time because that means collaboration across country but not necessarily in person. So after discussion within the working group number one, uh, we came up with a proposed idea on how to include new countries. We, the goal is to have these uh, in new countries as simple as possible with less paperwork as possible, but still we would need some paperwork. What, what are the paperwork? We will need two pieces of information if you or somebody that you know wants, wants to join our ink action coming from a country that does not is part not yet of the ink. So the first one is a CBE of the person proposing the action, which basically is quite simple. You write your CBE. We need to understand and to know what you work on because we need to have people working on nucleomics specifically in our network. And the second one is a very simple form. It has actually two questions that you have to fill with maybe 10, 15 lines of paragraph. Probably it's too small for you guys, but I'm gonna summarize for you. Basically your name of the person who wants to propose a new country and why do you think the new country will benefit of being in the ink action? And why do you think the ink action will benefit from having such country in the network? Two very simple questions to um, figure it out. What is the match really between the new country and the action? And finally, as a member of the network, you will need to join one of the working groups. As I mentioned, there are five working groups and you have to select one of the five working groups. So this is the simple paperwork. You just do it if you, if you want to add a new country. Now, how to do it? The idea is that you contact either me or Anna Pombo or Jonas in that sense. And you have all the emails in our website. And this is a, a direct contact to the chairs of the action and we will start the process, providing you the form and the CV and, 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 and the information, sorry. But also you can contact any of the members of the MC. They all have their names in the website for the Inc. We have a large number of them. So if you are uh, familiar with when any of the names or those are your friends or you know them by, by, by the work that you do, just contact them and then they will forward your petition to the uh, MC, uh, to the chairs, either me or Anna Pombo. Then uh, Anna Pombo and myself, together with Jonas, we uh, look at the work, look at the CV and the, and, and the document and make a decision which is likely to be yes in the majority of the scenarios. And that decision then is shared with the rest of the MC that vote whether they want or not this country to be included in the uh, cost action. So this is a very simple process. It should not take too much than a few weeks. And then your country will be part of the, MC, of the uh, INC International Nuclear Consortium, which means that you can access to the many of the things that we do, including uh, a few things that um, I'm gonna be mentioning later. There are several countries also in, 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 in dark green, you have the countries that are already part of our MC. But there are a few that are not part of our MC in the, in, in the continent. By the way, we also accept what is called near neighbor countries or international countries. They have different types of uh, advantages. And I can, I can brief you on that if, if you want privately via email. 
But there are a few countries that have already expressed interest or that there are people in the MC that want them uh, to be included, such as Denmark, Austria, and Finland. But you are more than welcome to suggest your additional countries and you have here the map. And we would love to fill those gray areas with dark green. So more than welcome to, if you want to do this uh, uh, in the in action. Other things that we are trying to put together, although it's not dead yet, is to have a database of grant options for at the European level for which we can uh, participate as a community, either as an entire community or as parts of our community. So as you know, if you have visited our website, we have databases for the people, databases for the software, but uh, this is something that we want to prepare and the working group one uh, probably will start working on this. And if you have ideas on how to do this, more than welcome to listen to you. Um, so we still need to discuss exactly how this will be done. But the idea is that you will go to our website and see open calls related to nucleomics that we can all uh, participate as a community. Another type of resources that you can get access, and these are four examples of this uh, already being executed, is by having shared articles. What is shared articles? If you have recently been accepted, or if you have papers under revision, or if you know you're going to have papers very soon under revision, and you, you, you have these um, articles shared by at least three countries in our network of the ones that you've seen before the map, and at least three people associated to any of the working groups, and we can associate you to a working group in a matter of, of, of days if necessary, then the ink cost action can take care of the bills associated to open access to those papers. And here we have four examples of four papers that the cost action has paid the bill of publishing them. That's not only one way of doing this, but we also have members in the MC that are working uh, very much carefully with editorial offices to see if whether we can have a special issues, and we might hear more about it later on, special issues in journals of targeting nucleomics problems, epigenetics, three-dimensional genomics, all that all the comes into mind about genomics and the nucleus to see whether we can have a special issue associated to our uh, network where we all write reviews. These are not in the idea of original papers, original research papers, but in reviews, a bunch of reviews, one after the other on, on our topics of interest within the network. And that could be another way of getting uh, visibility for our network. So if you are in the situation to have papers soon, get in touch and we will uh, assess for you whether we can uh, overcome this rule uh, or have this rule fulfill of the three countries plus three people in the network. So that's all I wanted to share with you about the working group one and thank very much to the people who contributed to put all of this together.